Hi there, I'm Madeline with LuLaRoe Madeline Reyes, and I just wanted to take a couple minutes of your time to share this really cute trend that's going on within the LuLaRoe Familia. Um, it requires a Amelia dress and a Cassie skirt. It is a peplum look. Um, I wanna just go ahead and say right now that I am not the originator of this style. I wish I was because it is so fly. I love it. It's comfy and I feel great wearing it. Um, I actually didn't think about making a video, but I went to this conference here in Chicago with all my Lula sisters. Uh, a bunch of LuLaRoe consultants got together and I just had so many people ask about the style and then um, I posted it on my group page, on my sales page, and they were so excited about it. So I thought I should share it. I wanted to let you guys know that again, I am not the originator of this. I wish I was. Um, so I just want to give that forewarning because I'm not that cool yet. So um, what you're gonna need for this look is a LuLaRoe Amelia dress. The Amelia dress is a wonderful, wonderful piece. I feel like every woman should have an Amelia because it's so great. It's a little fitted on the top. It has a higher waist and then it's got a full skirt with box pleating. As you can see, there's some box pleating going on here. It has invisible pockets but an exposed zipper in the back, which is so great. Um, such a great piece. I absolutely love it. So this is my Amelia dress, and I'm going to pair it with an Amelia Cassie. Um, it's a pencil skirt, and I feel like, um, especially for my plus size sisters, if you are a little intimidated by the word pencil skirt, don't be, girl. Cassie's skirt is everyone's friend. I have never met a woman who Cassie did not like. FYI. So what I'm going to do is put this skirt over my head, over my dress, and I'm going to protect my luscious locks carefully. Got to respect the fro, you know. Love these curls. I got to love them. We got to love them. So you're going to put this over your skirt, over your dress, like so. And I'm going to scoot it down. So it's going to look like... Um, so it's going to be fitted. And so this is how it's going to look. What you want to do is bring it down past your higher waist. You want to bring it down to right here. So you can see, I'm going to scoot it down. Now it's like a, a one tuck to one scoot down ratio because every time you tuck this out, you're going to have to scoot the skirt down. So what we're going to do is tuck this dress out and then the bottom, this kind of rises, right? So we want to tuck it tuck it out and then we're gonna scoot it down tuck it out and then we want to get it in the back as well so for every tuck the skirt rises um you just want to make sure that you can tuck this out and show you in the back and bring this down make sure you get your sides done so tuck this out and then i'm going to turn it around bring the skirt so tuck, and then bring this bad boy up. So we're gonna tuck and bring it out. So right now, I have pieces of my Amelia down here. I don't necessarily care for that. I want them to be kind of up a little higher, just cause that gives me more room to make the peplum, like make it longer. I prefer it a little longer as opposed to being, as opposed to being shorter. Same thing for the back. So I'm going to put the skirt down a little, <coughs> excuse me, getting over having some bronchitis. Ain't nobody got time for that. So this is kind of what it looks like. I'm super excited. I love this look. And what I do for insurance, and what I mean by insurance, I mean this bad boy isn't going to fall down. I take a thick belt, just any thick belt you may have at home. It's not for styling. It's literally to prevent this, the dress and the skirt from like separating probably that's the word I'm looking for um, and that way you can keep it tight and all together so literally this is what it looks like underneath and it's keeping my Amelia and peplum together and so this is the Amelia is a peplum but this is this is the look I love it I feel um, really confident in it, really comfortable. I think for a long time, as part, again, for my plus size sisters, as a plus size woman, I always kind of felt a little leery on what the peplum would look like on my body type, and yet I have found it to be extremely flattering. What I love is 
that the dress that I already wear, it's very comfortable. I have lots of give, lots of room. Um, it's a stretchier kind of material. And then the same thing with the Cassie skirt. You can you can do high kicks. You probably shouldn't, but there's so much room. It's a very they're very forgiving materials, and so to have both of them together is very complimentary. And I love the way they look on me. I love the way they feel. I still am covered in the backside. It's very modest, um, but I feel like it's really trendy. And you can pair that with a pair of um, heels. I I got these Gladiator sandal heels from Target. So if you're interested in those, I also got them in taupe because they are so fly. And I am not very good at wearing heels. Kind of look like Godzilla walking through a city. And ain't nobody got time for that. So these are really flattering. I love them. I feel great. And I just want to spread the love. I want you to feel beautiful. I want you to feel great in what you're wearing. Um... I want you to feel beautiful and comfortable because there is a way that you can be that you can have both comfort and beauty you don't have to have to sacrifice one for the other all right ladies so hey if you are looking for a little girl consultant i would love to be your girl let me know if you have any questions follow me on lula row madeline reyes and if you want to be part of my um my page my group it's lula row madeline reyes boutique i hope to see you guys there thanks so much bye